greetings beautiful souls how are you today so i would like to do an unboxing of the witch's roots and the witch's bounty i have been very sick of late i'm on antibiotics and I love opening up these boxes when I'm not feeling great because they improve my mood, they really lift my spirits and it is such a unique experience because when I am waiting to open up one of these boxes, something always happens in my life and I'm like, whoa, I need this a specific ingredient and then when I open up these boxes, those appropriate ingredients are exactly what I need. So I find that it is like a divination process in and of itself. So I have my home altar fully lit. It is like really, really active at the moment. That's something that I made an effort to do today. And I wanted to now open up these beautiful boxes. So apologies for my nasally voice. I've been sick for just over a week now and I'm starting to feel a little bit better thanks to modern medicine and also some ancient remedies. So let's get stuck into it, shall we? We're first gonna open up the witch's roots. So let's take a nice close look at it. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited, I wanna show you. Look at this, Carnelian. Oh, I'm so excited. Carnelian is one of my favorite crystals, especially for activating the sacral. I find it really, really powerful for people who are aiming to unblock aspects of their creativity. And oh, they, it just, it's such a powerhouse of a stone. I'm so stoked to see that. What have we got here? Cinnamon. Ah, I'm using a lot of cinnamon in my work at the moment. I honestly am using so much cinnamon, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked to see that. Look at how beautiful it is. I love the artwork. I'm gonna get to the um to the letter in just a moment. But I want. Oh yum. Oh, here we have the carnelian bracelet. I'll take everything out shortly. We have a little candle there. I'm betting it's, oh yeah, yellow orange. I was gonna go with. We have some cinnamon bark here and a nice hefty dose of cinnamon bark. I knew I'd be able to use this. If you see here, I'm in the process of, um, you know, pushing roots and that into my beeswax candles. This is a Witch's Moon beeswax and I love doing that. So this is perfect. This cinnamon here is perfect for that exact thing. As are these beautiful candles. They're really great recipients. Something in there is jingling. Something in here is very small and alluring. We've got, I'm not even gonna bother smelling the incense because I can't smell anything at the moment, which is making me really sad. So this would be the oil. So let's get in there and have a bit of a look. So we've had a pretty good look at the art here, but I just wanted to, you know, really show it again because I love the artwork in the witch's roots. Look at that kind. I'm so excited to be working with Carnelian in this way. I can't wait to see what they've got. Here is the beautiful Carnelian bracelet. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. It's such a deep orange color. This would be a great, great piece of magical jewelry to charm, to spell. I'm loving it. I can't wait to wear it. I can't wait to prepare it to wear it. Oh, it feels really nice too. We have this beautiful big bag of cinnamon bark. So much can be done with cinnamon. It's such an incredible bark. It is so wonderful for prosperity. It's wonderful for protection. It's wonderful for divination. It's wonderful 
for cooking with really <laughs> making sweet sweet treats oh, it's just the magic of cinnamon is damn near endless and I I can never have too much of it I usually have cinnamon in quill form I don't have it or fine powder obviously for cooking but I don't have it sort of in these smaller pieces and I'm just I'm just relishing in the potential I could see these being pushed into many a candle right now and many a fruit as well because I like to use fruit in my magics here we have the mini spell candle I've been burning through my witch's moon candles like you would not believe um, doing a lot of magic now that I have created my altar down here at home this is a mini one it's great for putting on top of activating and feeding your spell jars oops I dropped it and you know really quick uh, you know candle magic as well really great you can push some of that really cool cinnamon into it and it'll look awesome give it a dusting of some other herbs thing that I love about um, beeswax is that it contains the energy of the bee and the bees are quite prosperous and busy and there is such a sovereignty to to bee magic as well and so you're taking some of that in with you when you work with beeswax it's also very soft and malleable and it's wonderful wonderful for working with especially if you plan on adorning it now it's hard to write or inscribe your name on these candles so you do have to work with name papers but that is the least of your concerns honestly they're such great candles to work with we have some really nice little incense sticks here i tried to smell them but i can't smell anything at the moment so i'm sad about that i'm really interested to see what's in here so let's have a little look magical power this looks like a penzac talisman very um neptune energy there very interesting i'm not sure how i will use this but i will use it no doubt i'm fascinated as to what could be in here oh it's like a little carnelian arrowhead look at that isn't that amazing wow i was not expecting that at all so we've got two you know powerful carnelian pieces in here fantastic that is amazing and that feels actually really sharp i love that i love it spiritual body oil oh i wish i could smell this i can't smell anything i'm so sad their oils are usually so fragrant that looks good it looks like it's got a, a, a decent amount of herb in there as well it is a body oil which means it's suitable to put on the body that's what it is intended for and uh, yeah so let's have a look at what the card says tells us about all these things have prowess of power during times of uncertainty, confusion and chaos, we rely on our sacred connection with natural elements to empower us and provide us with strength. It is during troubling times that we embrace our ability to view trials as opportunities for growth and progression. These trials, whichever may be relevant to our current reality, are presented to us as possible hardships, yet stand as a cloak covering true possibilities, creativity and the beauty of creation. We work through rituals and meditations to find courage, sparking excitement within the depths of our soul. We resonate with the great goddess and gods who have shown overwhelming bravery in the face of adversity and seeming defeat in the very powerful and prominent collection or in this very powerful and prominent collection we work with the energies that lift us up gifting us new perspectives so that we may claim victory in all aspects of our journey wow i love that so we have cinnamon in here which we already knew about cinnamon herbal grimoire artwork which is beautiful christopher penzac magical power pewter pendant i knew it was a penzac tumbled carnelian bracelet wow carnelian altar arrowhead oh i love that 
Carnelian Book of Shadows reference page, Vitality Ritual Incense Sticks, Tower of Triumph Mini Spell Candle, Lilahel, Lilahel, I can't pronounce it, Body Oil, uh, Lilahel is one of the many angels of Aries, there you go, and that is what we have in here, wow, so I'm really so absolutely excited i needed more yellow candles because i've been using if you can see here all sorted up i'm using yellow candles right there so i needed more yellow candles and i needed them quickly oh cinnamon is going to go straight to you so it's going to get tucked under my altar over there where all of my useful herbs are and i'm thinking about putting that one up on the wall because i just think that would look awesome love it i really do love all my witches moon you know, ephemera, creations, ritual objects. They just, they do such incredible work. You'd be hard pressed to find a box quite like it. Every box made by every other creator is unique in its own way, but there is just something so special about the Witch's Moon. If you haven't tried it, you really must because they are just so oh, good. If you have this box, Tell me what you thought of it and I will chat to you guys again soon. Look after yourselves. Bye.